What's up, YouTube? It's me. Thank you for my ch coming to my channel, Dear God, Are We There Yet?, where we talk about budgets in business, passion to empower, and self-growth. I know I haven't made a video in a long time. Well, maybe not that long of a time, but I haven't made a video. And I have been busy, of course, life, like always. Um, everyone who's busy. Um, I hope you guys are checking out my podcast. I want to say one thing. Um, if you don't listen to it on Spotify, it's always updated here on YouTube. So you can definitely check it out. We've been having some really good uh, guests on the show about lots of different things. Um, and again, you know, I try to keep my podcast short and sweet because I know I've noticed that a lot of listeners like that. And um, so go ahead and check them out. It's not going to take a long time. You can probably do it on your lunch break on the way to work or whatever. Um, so check out the, uh, check out, this is YouTube, the, check out the podcast. Um, every Tuesday, there's a new episode. So, um, I wanted to make this really quick video because I want to be able to talk about something that we talked about on a podcast that I think that is super, super, super relevant. And I actually wrote, um, I wrote an article about it and I think it's going to be out in harness. I mean, it's not approved yet. Um, but when it comes out, I'm going to go ahead and, and send it to you um, so that you guys can read it. But imposter syndrome and you're like imposter syndrome. Yeah, I want to talk about imposter syndrome. So if you're new to my channel, again, you already know what we talk about. Um, Dear God is a movement. It's about conversations and questions and helping people help people. And it's so funny because even if you listen to my podcast um, with Martin Rood, um, Heaven on Earth, he had me thinking, man. He put me on the spot and he had me thinking. And ever since that podcast, I mean, I have been doing it. I've been procrastinating a lot for, and we all procrastinate, right? When was the last time you procrastinated something within your goal or your passion or something that you loved? So I, I was procrastinating. I mean, I had certain things. Um, I have a creative project that I've been working on just creatively. Um, that it, It's actually a really good story. And um, I've been putting more effort into just writing it um, because it's fun. And not saying that I'm going to, you know, publish it or maybe I do maybe I don't but it's for fun <clears throat> and then I have of course as you know a dear god are we there yet um which is it's something that I basically like fell into and on, on the reason why behind it and so we talk about imposter syndrome and we talk about heaven on earth and we talk about all these things that we we feel at times when things are not going our way we say to ourselves well you know, I feel like I'm a fraud or I feel like, um, you know, fear is taking over me. I'm not good enough or whatever the case is. And for a long time, and I think I've expressed this on my channel, that writing is always, it's been new to me. You know, it's something that um, I never really did. I mean, I always did in journals. I always did that since a kid. And I always loved creative imagination, writing and all that stuff. Um, and then um, when I used to live in New York, <clears throat> I used to be really heavy and, you know, um, you know, spirituality, and I'm, I still am, but I was really, really into understanding other points of, you know, energy and the secret and all that stuff, and I'm not saying I'm way past that because I love that stuff, but um, I feel like there's more to it, and so when you start to pique your interest, you start to other things and to grow within your own personal growth, that's why it's called self-growth and not self-help, because um, I feel like we're growing, like we're, you know, the nature, um, you start to discover things about yourself, but then you start having these little fears, which is imposter syndrome. And many of you probably know what imposter syndrome is. And again, it's that lack of fear and that, oh my God, or what am I doing or whatever the case it is. And you start to, you start to tell yourself, why am I having this imposter syndrome? And why, where is this coming from? And after digging research and looking and understanding and things for myself, I'm going to say this to you. Limiting beliefs is so freaking real. And the way you were raised or the way that you grew up or the fears that you had when you were younger, they go to you when you're an adult. And so I want you guys to take a little break today and some time and look at these limiting beliefs that you've brought with, your, with you from when you were a child, the chiquito. I really evaluate, why do you feel these? Well, where are these emotions coming from? And I've made videos about this, but as I start to dig deeper into my purpose and, you know, 
we think that one thing is our purpose and we love it and we do it. Um, and then we figure out that that's not really what our purpose is, even though you love it. And I always talk about this fashion and business. I love it. I've been doing it for so many years since actually college. Um, for many of you that don't know, I mean, I was that college girl, like sewing in my dorm and making clothes for the local universities and then going off to fashion weeks and selling my line and i'm telling you that's all i knew and that's all i know business and fashion um yeah i'm addicted to business and not because i learned it in school but because i am i i'm just a lover of it um and my parents were entrepreneurs from a young age ever since i can remember they were entrepreneurs so that came with business and fashion is thought I all I thought I had I like thought I knew that's all I knew and I'm like that's what I'm gonna do that's my purpose and as I grew older in my life and my experiences I realized that that wasn't in the dear God community is something bigger and I I know exactly what I want to do with it and it's beyond the writing and it's beyond the you know this pod the podcast and beyond the the YouTube channel it's bigger than that because it's helping people help people in a different aspect from conversations and, 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 and questions. And I'm going to get to that. But it's also the imposter syndrome that tries to stop us in our tracks and starts to talk to us in our brain to talk, talk us out of it because we don't think we're subject matter experts and whatever it is that we want to do. Take a mirror today and reflect on your limiting beliefs. Take today and reflect and understand and acknowledge what your imposter syndrome is and where is it coming from. Then take it and put it away and tell yourself, when it comes up, I need to attack it. And I say this on my channel, I am not a therapist. I am I am not even, I'm not licensed. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not no guru. Um, you know, I am, I'm not any of that. I am just a human and um, of, you know, in searching of growth for myself to understand myself, my life in this life. So I challenge you guys to <clears throat> don't put that limiting belief in the back and just be like, whatever. No, acknowledge it. Don't do that imposter syndrome and like, I'll be like, oh, and just go with it, run with it. Look at it in the eye and say, I see you. I recognize you. You're not truth. Let me understand where these feelings are coming from, where are these things coming from. And then try to find what you need to, to, you know, to, to follow your passion and your purpose, because we all have a purpose as matter, as a matter of fact, nosotros pensamos, we think that we no tenemos un purpose, but we do, even if it's the purpose is to being a, a you know, a great mother or husband, to being a great sister, a, a, a daughter, or to be whatever it is, a purpose doesn't have to feel like you have to be like Angelina Jolie and save the world. A purpose doesn't mean that you have to, you know, make a million dollars in your business. That's not, a, a purpose is whatever it's for you. And, and you don't have to try to be like other people. And so I didn't want to make this video really long, but I wanted to talk about this because the podcast was about imposter syndrome. And, um, and I love the way that she put it. And I love the way that Martin Root, Heaven on Earth, if you guys go get his book, because when, él me preguntó esa pregunta, yo me puse fría. I got cold, like, I got cold, I got stuck, and I'm like, he put me on the spot, go listen to the podcast. And two, it made me realize, like, Alicia, really, like, you're, you're stopping yourself from doing whatever it is. And usually I'm one to jump, yo me tiro, I jump. But lately, I haven't been doing that because there's so much evaluation that needs to be done on my part, which is important for me because I'm the opposite. Yo me tiro and I'm like, ah, ya lo va a hacer, está bien. But I cannot do that. So if you're one to always take your time and whatever, maybe try the opposite approach. And if you're like me that jumps for everything, maybe take the other approach. Try things new and let go of that imposter syndrome. When it comes, face it. Put it, put it in your face and be like, okay why you feel like this and let's let's deal with this and then put it away um so this is a long overdue video that's why it's a little long but i want you guys to just think about that and if you learn anything from this video or share with someone um and i will be back with another video i don't know when but i will be back with another video and until next time thank you for coming on my channel talk to you later